everybody, what's going on? Here we are today, my shop, my favorite place to be, of course. And what we got going on right now is that we just went on an epic flight with Pilot Pat. That was such a good time. It was really cool to see his fly product paramotor with the Cosmo 300. That was very cool, very exciting for me. You guys can clearly tell in the video how excited I really just was. I'm ripping down the motor. We're gonna put in this new pull cord that I just went and bought from the hardware store. I was gonna order from Vitarazzi the pull cord or from another paramotor and company but i figured just to get a local store get a cord maybe a little bit beefier than the one that's there now what i'm doing is i'm slowly taking this paramotor apart to get this motor off so okay airbox off first things first airbox sit you right there on the bed all right now we got that off we're going to try to attempt to get this fuel line off of here nicely a needle nose and a flathead okay in the process of me actually trying to pull the you know cable apart which is always very tricky this is the second time now that this has happened so i have to show you so check it out the bolt actually snapped right here second time the one that's actually on my wall over here which i can show you really quick the one over here on my wall same thing happened it snapped right where the bolt goes on to that's actually really a shame and kind of a little beat but now we're in the process of actually pulling the engine off to actually do the pull cord okay so that was a little bit easier for me to just take it right off of the camera and actually focus more on pulling the motor off so now you guys can see the motor is off we have it on the table right now and what we're going to do is flip the motor over we're going to start cracking down on seeing on what it's going to take to actually get this string out of the pool cord and get a new one in there what we have here is the vitarazzi motor we just found the right size socket which is an eight millimeter got our little guy here so it's very crucial to make sure that you know it looks like these spacers here are potentially different sizes so we'll let's see here we have here is these four bolts but we want to make sure that we don't mess with these spacers that are in here we got to make sure that these are all in the same spot so we don't want to Get that mixed up, which looks like it could be a very easily thing confused. So this is the first time I'm actually pulling off this uh, pull start off the MY22. And I actually have to do this. So we got to remember that the small one definitely goes over here, which I'll take a marker here and mark these markers so I know I can't mess that up. Okay, 2-2. Two, two. All right, one one two two. Let's see here. So all I'm trying to do is, I'm not actually physically trying to take apart this setup at all. So what I'm trying to do is just get the string out of here. So what we gotta do is get a flathead, some needle nose here to try to see. Let's try using the needle nose. Oh yeah, pick that out. Nice. So we're getting this sucker out. Very nice. A knife and I'm just gonna cut this like this okay pull you out okay very nice Get the new string out which is right here which is actually a little thicker than before which I'm fine with I'm hoping that I can still stick this in here which is going to be a little tough okay so check it out so we just and I had to take it off and I had to actually look at a couple things on YouTube because it was a little funny at first, but I'm glad that I just did it because it said how important it was to actually spool the spring all the way back. It's one thing to pull back this whole wheel here, but this inner where the spring is, you have to get it to rotate so this wants to keep going back. I actually had a time where I was on the field, this broke, and I was able to fix it on the spot, but I really didn't fix it. I didn't spool the spring all the way back, and I always kind of had a lot of slack in my pull cord since that first original break. So now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna clean up the Vitarazzi right here with the most parts that I normally can't be able to clean up. Then we're gonna throw this right back on, and then we're gonna try to hook this all back up and try to see if we can't have a really nice pull cord going so i'm like really happy about that spool back now because like i said i didn't really have that before and i want one size bigger than the actual string that was here 
This kept breaking on me. That was not the first time it ever broke. It was actually considered the fourth break I've ever had on a pool cord now. So now, I wanted to go a little bit bigger. That's why I didn't want to rebuy a stock one. I'm not trying to say they're anything bad. I just want to go with a little bit thicker and try to see if we it doesn't last a little bit longer. Every time I ever clean any of my motors, especially the two strokes, I always use WD-40, but what I do instead of just lacing the motor with the WD, I'll spray, you know, the cloth here. Those are like super soft cloths that I normally typically use for the hot rod stuff, so that's why I, I'll use it on here. But just a quick wipe on everything, get some of that sand out of here that I normally can't ever get to. My thing is, you know, these are our aircraft engines, and me personally, I want this to be the cleanest engines that I have, you know, and paramotors, you know, I don't want to mess around, you know, we're up flying in the air, and sometimes, you know, I catch myself being a couple thousand feet in the air, so it's like, I want these to be really clean, uh, and me always looking at everything on these, like when I'm cleaning this right now, not only are we just cleaning all the sand and a little bit of dust and dirt off that I normally can't reach, I'm also looking at all the stuff that I can't normally look at, make sure nothing looks crazy or hurt or looks like it's getting hurt. You know, I love actually working on these. It's always, man, I was a little disappointed to know I had to actually pull the motor off the frame to do that, but you know, I don't know. I'm also happy to now doing all this stuff, cleaning it up really nice and taking my time. You know, we actually have bad weather going on right now. We've got high winds. Definitely can't be out flying. We got gusting right now of 22 miles an hour with the wind coming from the west to the east. So that's, can't be flying at the beach like that. You know, I'm never trying to go flying at the beach uh, when that's going on, of course. Uh, this is nice. I'm glad that uh, I'm taking the time to wipe all this down. So now what we're gonna do is to put all this back together now. All right. Okay. All right, there's my double mark and there's my single mark. So what I did was to indicate these are four different spacer sizes here, if I'm not mistaken. But before we actually go do this, let's wipe this off too. So we got some dirt grime on these too, so I'm gonna wipe all these down, get all the... We do a lot of beach flying, so I got a lot of beach sand on here. Trying not to bore everybody either, I'm trying to be pretty quick with this, but... Like I said, it's very important that when you go changing the cords on these, that you not only spin the outer wheel all the way out, you need to spin this inner wheel right here all the way out so you get your full action on the spring for when your pull starting. It's very important. I didn't realize that the first time that this broke and all this time I've been having a trouble kind of pull starting this on my back and now it was because this wasn't spooled all the way like it should have been. So I'm very excited to know the difference. And like I said, we want, um, we made marks. I made a single mark here and a dual mark here. Like I said, these are, you guys can actually see, there are four different height spacers here and that's very crucial. All right, so let's try to tighten this sucker down. Get them all started here. Okay. Okay, each one started. So I have here some Loctite. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just kiss all the threads right now to each one that we're gonna put in here. Now we know that we're on here right, or all lined up. We're gonna take this Loctite. Loctite's a nice secondary thing to have. You know, it's nothing too crazy. And all you need is one drop on these. You don't need anything crazy. It goes right around the threads. So it's tight. Right there, hair more. And I always like crisscross my pattern if I get that chance. Right there. So, but right now, we got my pool cord back and I'm really happy about that. So now, let's switch gears, get this motor back up onto my SkyMax frame here. And so now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna wipe this stuff down really quick, make sure that everything looks Good. All right, so now this is all basically wiped out. Let's do this. All right, so we got the motor here. So we got the motor back on 
Everything's actually hooked back up, obviously, except my throttle, which is a bit of a shame, but no big deal. I'm already, as soon as we're done this video, order a new one. It's what I have to do now, but luckily we do have the other setup that I can just go take up in the air, so I'm not too bummed out like I'm out of flying. So now, to pull this cord up a little bit, what we're going to do is we gotta cut this out now. I'm trying to tie the knot so tight. We're gonna take this out. Gotta light the end here. Lighting up the end so we can pinch the strings. So it gets nice and hard so it doesn't fray up. Okay. So now we gotta put it through here. Okay, very nice. Give it a little bit of an extra. Okay, bring it back. Put this in the center piece that makes it nice and tight. Uh-oh. Where'd that just go? Oh, I see it. Got lucky. Just got lucky. Normally when things fall on the floor here in the shop, they're gone. All right, let's get a little bit more of an extra slack here so I can get a really good knot on here. Okay, not too bad. Not bad. All right, cut this little bit of this access of this string off right here. There it is. Wow, look at all that. And it goes right back. Very nice. Okay, I'm happy about that. That's nice. Grab my air box over here that I had off to the side. We're gonna wipe it all down. Everything with the air box looks very nice and clean, which is sweet. I hear a lot of people are complaining about a lot of these Viterazzi air boxes. I have yet to have had an issue. Gotta stay cautious though. There is a recall on them, but you know, is awesome and they're obviously reaching out and you could go onto their online website and fill out an application and get yourself their upgraded version that doesn't break. Okay. Air box back on nicely. Yep, just like so. Nice. This takes a Phillips head. Where's my Phillips? Ah, uh, the trusty Phillips. All right. You don't want to go too tight on the air box. You just want these to be snug. Because, you know, you, you ever tighten anything, they'll break. And there's no point in ever supermanning it. So now, let's all turn this to the side. So you guys can see here, I have this strap right here. So my one camera just actually died. But what I was just showing is right here is that strap. And this is just a secondary. So if this air box was to get loose, it won't go flying right into the prop. So yes, yeah, so there you have it. We have... Now, the new pull cord on here on the Viterazzi Monster 185. It's white, you know, but you know, to be honest, I wanted to go a thicker grade. I didn't want to buy the same one again because I keep having them break. So we're going to see how long this one will actually last. And yeah, we got the Viterazzi all cleaned up right now. I have my 3D blade up on the wall back here. So I'm going to actually get that down and put that back on here and put this away. So I hope that you guys all did enjoy my little video of me trying to pull my pull starter apart winding it up correctly this time and putting it back together so i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to drop a like comment subscribe like always and yeah until the next one we'll be up flying in the air